declining news quality with the rise of internet-enabled citizen journalists. Declining news quality. Now let's decipher that part. Declining news. When was the news? When did it ever have any quality? Huh? Every journalist knows to get a job. He acts like the censor. He knows what boss wants, and he gives boss what he wants, or he's out of a job. They smell the wind. They smell the wind, and of course the better ones, up the ones that are psychopathic, get up on television and become major, like old Dan Rather, you see. Old Father Rather. That's what well, you walk. called a whole generation grew up with this guy acting like Daddy, and would Daddy ever lie to you? Of course not. That's how it's done. So here they are about declining news quality, meaning their control, with the rise of internet-enabled citizen journalists and pressure to release stories at the expense of facts, or oh, because yes, only the elite can tell you what the facts are. They're authorized, and their workers will do it. They'll they'll, they'll write it for you. If you're not authorized. Then they, they won't call it facts; they'll call it conspiracy theory. And here you are in a Guardian, like this is not a conspiracy theory. There, no, this is just an agenda of a very extreme probabilities. They say they're going to happen to the world. So when they say this, it's okay; it's fact. But you make us all tremble if anyone else says it. It's not authorized; it's a conspiracy theory. It includes other, some frightening, some reassuring, potential developments that are not so often discussed. And this is how they, how they lighten it a little bit. They lighten it a little bit. You see. An electromagnetic pulse will probably become operational. This is, this is how they do it. I love this. By 2035, they've been testing it here for the last 50 years. It's already here. They keep us living in the past always by saying, "One day they'll be able to do this." They already can do that. This is old stuff. That's how they get away with the stuff, and they do use it. Or it can't be because the science magazines say they haven't got it operational yet, and that's what Joe Public thinks. This is old stuff. It will be able to destroy all communication systems in a selected area, or be used against a world city, such as an international business service hub. Our international business service hub. The development of neutron weapons, which destroy living organs but not buildings. That's the neutron bomb, neutrino bomb. Might make a weapon of choice for extreme ethnic cleansing in an increasingly populated world. You should listen to that again, eh? Shall we listen to that again, boys and girls? All you who are unauthorized to communicate with each other. So once again, the development of neutron weapons, which destroy living organs but not buildings, might make a weapon of choice for extreme ethnic cleansing. In an increasingly populated world, well, of course that will be the middle classes that will be doing that, right? Or maybe the lower classes, huh? If they have a whip round with their hats and collect enough little coin, they can build these weapons.、Hmm? Well, of course not. They're telling you here, it's themselves that might make a weapon of choice for extreme ethnic cleansing in an increasingly populated world. Hmm. Which also tells you that they've discussed the scenario of what ethnic groups they want to cleanse for extreme ethnic cleansing in an increasingly populated world. The purpose is to depopulate. So, which ones will they start with? 